By the late Eocene, there were two groups of whales, the Dorodontids and the Basilosaurids, which were obligate aquatic animals. In other words, they were not able to come onto land. As a result, they had a number of adaptations for aquatic life. Their thoracic and lumbar vertebrae were similar in their uh, length. Their sacrum no longer existed in that the sacral vertebrae were not fused and there was no joint between the uh, sacral vertebrae and the ilium of the hip. The end of the tail was modified and probably supported a small fluke. Their forelimb possessed a number of modifications and their hind limbs were greatly reduced. They were still present. The hind limbs possessed a femur, patella, tibia, fibula, tarsal, and even toe bones or phalanges. Um, however, they were not able to bear the body's weight, although they might have served in other aspects of the animal's physiology, such as allowing large elongated animals to hold themselves together during copulation. Dorodon, which measured five meters in length, is known from Pakistan, North Africa, and North America. Zygoriza measured six meters in length and is the state fossil of Mississippi. Their teeth make it evident that they were carnivores. Their blowhole or nostrils were midway along the length of their skull. They did not possess a melon organ uh, which is present in modern whales which allows echolocation. Zygoriza had a distinct neck which is unlike the situation in modern whales, and was able to flex its front limb at the elbow. The hind limbs were still present, but were too small to have been functional for locomotion.